your streaming hero. So welcome coders to the stream, where we will help you achieve your dream. It's all about that JavaScript, make your revenue more dynamic, yeah. Learn, earn and produce, put the Jamstack to good use. Captain Purple, your streaming hero. Hello, hello, and welcome to another stream, which is an, on an unusual time. Ooh, that was hard to pronounce. <laughs> How is everyone today? Hello, Alan and Rosvita, Razesh, Aline, hello, hello, Amy, Adrian, Adham. All right, let me uh, start back the background music. Should be very soft. I like that. All right, so uh, today what I want to do is a streak animation for uh, when someone finishes a challenge on I code this. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea yet what I want to do, like how I want it to look like. And I have no idea how I'm going to do it. So this is all going to be like random. <laughs> You're going to watch the entire process of me figuring out what I want to do exactly breaking it out step by step and then implementing it. So it should be a fun process. Uh, yeah, for those of you who are new to the channel and are new to iCode This, uh, iCode This is a project we've been working on for the past 10 months where you can join and have a daily coding project to improve your coding skills. For today, we have this, uh, how is it called? The photograph profile project, which if you join, you can do your best to implement it in HTML, CSS. And if you want to add JavaScript, that's even better. Let's see what people did so far. Chris, look at that. Chris already has a nice grid of pictures and already made the header section here. Very nice, Chris. You get a like, 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 and yeah, as you can see already, I don't know, like 15 people submitted the project, but yeah, this is not what we are going to do today. I'm not going to do the challenge. If you want me to do the challenge, let me know and I'll consider it for a future stream. But today, what I want to do is when someone starts a challenge and let's say they add in the code uh, like hello world and wait and let's suppose that uh, we finish the project but they don't we're going to delete it and when they submit this is like a congratulations script and i want here somewhere to uh, show their streak Right? Because if you do multiple projects, like in multiple days, you increase your streak, your streak right? In, uh, how do you say the day after the day? In, uh, well, well, obviously like streak thing. <laughs> yeah, so let me delete this submission because it's obviously not finished. But yeah, that's basically what I want to do. Um, Let me know if the background music is too loud or if it's annoying or something. Meanwhile, I'm going to get some water. And then we're going to like, I don't know, figure things out. I still got CSS to grid open with me. <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking about CSS grid, that's one of the big topics in CSS that I don't fully understand yet. 
I mean, I can get around uh, using it. I just, yeah. I know it better with Tailwind, which kind of does some tricks behind the scenes. Well, not necessarily tricks, but it writes some code. And I use that, so. I know how to set the grid and the grid sizes, but other than that, no. Okay. And speaking of the animation, what we're going to try to do. Uh, let me show you. Just a second. I mean, I might not go that far to build it. We're going to, uh, like, approach multiple styles. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see where it was. I think this one. Yeah, I mean, I get away with Flexbox just as well, so I don't need grid. I mean, I started coding when there wasn't either of it. So like I I used to do uh, complex layouts with flex. So uh, sorry, with floats, not even flex. So yeah, so basically can I download this? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. This is I mean this is one thing that popped up in the Discord from Kiola. But yeah, this sounds like, ooh, no, not, whatever. <laughs> this looks like pretty crazy. See? What I was thinking is like, maybe have the current streak as the number, and then a small plus one pops in, and they somehow merge. And then it becomes a bigger number, and maybe on a, top of a fire icon or something. That's kind of what I have in mind. This also looks interesting, but for this, I will have to figure out how to do those uh, animating numbers. And I don't know that yet, I haven't done. It. But uh, yeah, basically what we want is to have it work for uh, increments as well. So when someone goes from nine to 10, then... <laughs> okay, 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 we'll figure things out hopefully somehow so i'm going to go to create a custom project for those of you who don't know on icodis you can do that as well okay and uh, let's see let's try to do that uh the thing that i said so we have a number and then a plus one appears next to it and they kind of merge together. I don't know how to do that merging animation. Maybe slides into it and then they fade out and then the next number pops up. Something like that. Let's try that. Zoom in. Uh, I guess I'll save this as freak animation and chat. Uh, feel free to help me, like, if you have ideas of how we can do this even better. We can definitely do that. So... Um, I need the fire icon. Campfire, nah. A flame. Can I have a full flame or something? A candle, nah. A flame. Flame off now. I guess I'll use this and hack the SVG to make it a full flame. Or even better, I'll have an idea. So yeah, I'm not going to use Tailwind. Although on the website we have Tailwind, so hmm. I should be using Tailwind for this. Because I have to convert this to React. For number animation, may you try this? Uh, what? So yeah, let's... Yeah, do it in Tailwind so you can use it later in the project. Okay, okay, yeah, uh, let's do it in Tailwind. So I want to change this. 
and then yeah sure background that could stay like that and max like we need a container so with full and next with that and let's put the s so i'm thinking uh, we need a number so a big number we're going to use a big number like an h2 h1 maybe is the page title or something so here will be a number like eight and i want this to be big so text 6xl okay and font bold okay and then i want a small number next to it which will say plus one okay um because we're going to move them around i'm not going to use flex i'm going to use maybe just positioning Yeah, I'm not sure I understand what you mean with that animation. Uh, okay, so let me put this in a in its own wrapper. Okay. And then this wrapper can be relative. And this not just good, right? Yeah. And top uh, zero, right zero. Absolute. Okay, yeah, good, good, look at that. Good, 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 good. So let's see, BG purple 700, I just want to see it. It's, yeah, full. <laughs> um, I'm thinking if we should give it the width or not. I don't want it to be centered. So MX auto, will it push it? Nah. Uh, it takes up the full space because space why we don't need I don't need this. Well, I kind of hmm. So I could use this div instead, make it smaller, like let it take up the space it needs. Okay. Okay, okay, it kind of looks like a tile, right? And then give this relative. And look at like tiny plus one there. Uh, uh, that's not necessarily small. Let's make it a P tag. Make it a little bigger. And let's make it be in the center. Friends, late. Y minus okay minus translate y half so that's goes there that goes there okay <laughs> uh, maybe font bold on this as well text large maybe make a bit bigger okay and initially it should have scale zero and then we should scale it hmm. for opacity. And then we change the opacity and then we translate it and then somehow make merge them <laughs> somehow. All right, let me put the flame icon behind it. Okay, I want you to be bigger like that. Maybe even bigger. So the number, the flame and big flame. This could also work like a PNG, but uh, we'll do it with H with the SVG. Hello, Gunavan. How are you? So think, 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 think. See, as I said, I'm doing this on the fly. Mm, I kind of want to have two flames and the, the inner one could have a color and the outer one could have another color and then they kind of look like the one we had in um, uh, Duolingo. So 
So two planes. One is smaller. 24. And the smaller one should be filled. So we want to fill current color. Haha, look at that. Hey Chris. Glad to have you here. I might need your help. All right. So in order to position them in the cent, both of them in the center, I'm going to use relative with this on this as well. Okay, and then have them be absolute, absolute top half left half. Minus translate y half, minus translate x half. They should both be in the center. See? Sort of. Uh, but the trick now is that one has to be a color, one has to be another color. So let me put some margin there. I can see it. Have you ever sold HTML CSS templates? Nah, I haven't. Uh, well, I guess I could like put a pirate color already here because I don't know if it works from this text, uh, red five, 400. Oh, it works. Okay. So then I don't need to worry about that. So let's see, uh, what kind of colors we need color. Okay, so we can have like, let me see again that icon here. So it's yellow in the middle and orange. Okay, okay. yellow and orange. Where are you? Where, where is this one? So uh, amber 400 and orange 500. So the small one is amber 400. Why the chua? And this one is text orange 500. That works, but. Oh, it's A. Okay. Thank you. All right. And we kind of need to push it down a little bit or just play around with the size to make it match. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe just. Tiny bit margin top one. Nah, too much. Mm. <laughs> I don't push up just one quarters. Nah, still doesn't work. Okay, we just have to figure out like the numbers until that kind of works. Or I have another idea. I'll show you in a second. So make this 40, 40, we still need to have it like super big. So yeah, and this 36, okay. Uh, can I have half? I don't think that works. Nah, it doesn't. Okay, I can do like uh, two pixels. All right. What kind of stuff there? Could you make the parent a flex and center the two SVGs the smaller with a higher Z index maybe? Well, no, because like in order to have two things on top of each other, you will have to use positioning. You can do it with flex because with flex, they will own have their own places, you know? Yeah. And here I could use the same current color and then we won't see the white line if there is any. And I can increase the stroke. Look at that. Ooh, see? Kind of looks like a pretty cool fire, fire thingy. <laughs> okay. So we have that fire thingy. Uh, we also kind of have to position this in the center of things. So the same thick top left 
minus minus so it will be like there and then we can do z0 or z minus one minus z1 mm -hmm. okay 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 you don't want okay i understand then we can set relative here and z1 to 8 and then it will be on top haha <laughs> okay and if we want to like scale the fire we could say scale here scale 2 no scale 150 i need to figure out what kind of scales scaling has i can't say 2 like this Four, really big fire. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. See, see, see. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, but initially we want this as well to be scale zero. So let's see. We have eight. We want to add uh, to have the plus one appear, slide into it. maybe fade out and have the fire and the new number come out. Does it sound right? That's kind of what I have in mind. So now the trick, the trick begins. So we want a class here, slide in, which we're going to apply, uh, which will have an animation called slide in, I guess, which will run for 300 milliseconds linear and stay forward. All right, and then keyframes slide in. What we want is to, uh, we don't really wonder about, so just shoot and then fade out. Mm. It has to fade in, slide, fade out, I guess. So we need percentages. But 100%, let me apply this so we can hopefully see it. Slide in. I want you to be transform. Translate x minus 100%. Ooh, look at that. Good, 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 good. We're kind of getting somewhere. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. And I can use the ease. See, true. But what we can do is to delay it a bit. So we say 80% minus 1%. So we it's too fast. Let's have it go a thousand milliseconds. So I want you to be at zero percent. See, right, right now we're kind of like saying, okay, at zero percent I want you to be here, at one percent, a hundred percent I want you to be here, so on and so forth. I guess uh, we can even do eighty percent. So up to this point, I want you to be in your spot, whereas minus fifty percent. Hmm. Why are you sliding though? Stay there. So by default, this is translate. Oh, okay, okay. So it, it's not translated on the X axis, so let me remove that as well. <laughs> See? That's the thing. And here we can do the trans form, translate, what's the initial one? So I just want to go to the left. 0%. But... Hmm. Hey, I'm missing something. Okay, so initially, oh, 
Okay, you're where I want you to be. Then what did I miss here? Top right. Okay. And I want you to start. Oh, okay. I think I know. I messed up my keyframes. So start there. And be there at 81, 80%, and then from 80% go to 100%. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Nice. It's still like pretty fast. So we can decrease this to like 50%. All right. Good, 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 good. Now we also need to play with opacity. So initially, opacity like zero. And what I want you to do is to go like a 20%. I want, let's see, opacity to become one. And then here, like keep one all the way through 50%. Zero percent. Let's specify all of them. Best is zero. Okay. Maybe just do it here. Fifty percent. And have it more like okay. It's hidden, appears, and goes there. Hmm. Still happens very fast. So we can't see. So hidden, appears, and moves. Okay. Okay. So basically this is where we like add the plus one to uh, to the DOM and it should do that. Okay. Now I want you to go a bit more to 100%. Ah. And I have to figure out what's the... Hmm. Doesn't feel right. This is too fast, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Nah. Give me the chat. Something doesn't feel right. We need to wait more. So the plus appears and enters. And then they should go away. So let's uh, put this at 90%. And then at the 100%, I want the opacity to become zero again. Opacity. Okay. And we need to keep the transform there. So it appears, goes in, and disappears. Mm -hmm. Sort of. And then also this one <clears throat> should have an animation of uh, fade out. So the same thing, copy paste. But this will be fade out. And now we have to synchronize them. So, and this one should be simple. Like, we need to fade it out when the plus enters it. So, fade out. No, opacity one, yeah, we'll have one fade out. So basically I want you to have opacity one up to what, 90% here? Yeah, so up to 90%. And then 
to 100%, you should pay it out as well. So let's see. Zip. Kinda. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, I think we can add like a class to the parent so that way both animations will run on the corresponding children elements. But yeah, let's run it again. Run, please. No, no, no. So it appears and then. Mm -hmm. I don't know, something feels a bit off. And yeah, at the end, we want to display this. We could use like, oh, this and the new number. So not even sure. This should also go in the center or something. This will be the new number and absolute. Please don't take space and no animation for you and once you absolute top zero top half hey that's wrong Top zero is there. Top half. Uh, okay. Top half and minus translate y. Yeah. That should be centered. And you will also be scale zero. So then that goes in, that pays out, and then these two scale zero will become will remove it. So yes. Let's have a button which will say click me and let's style it a bit bg purple 100 white bold padding x4 padding y2 rounded shadow okay and then the parent flex column and gap 4 right and this should Triggered animation. ID click. <laughs> I'm thinking how to trigger the animation like all of them because we have to move the letters and then when it's done the other ones have to like come up maybe if i do everything with that class give me just a second be right back I will try to forgive you. <laughs> welcome back, Mihai. Well, welcome, Mihai. <laughs> Greetings from Philippines. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Okay, so... I'm trying to figure out maybe we'll apply a class to the whole wrapper. And that will cascade all the animations, right? And then we can use like uh, variables to do stuff. How about that? So we'll have like a uh, class of uh, 
animation wrapper or something like that. And in that animation wrapper, we'll have the, the elements like have the animations. So let's see. I want the animation on the H2. Maybe I'll give them classes before, <laughs> after. This is just me trying to, uh, and this will be the plus. And now I don't do, like I would not target them with the classes, but instead with the wrapper. So uh, before this, no, this is the plus. So the plus will have these. Then animation wrapper. Uh, this will be the before, and then we'll have another animation wrapper that will be after. So after, okay. And this one will be fade in, and basically do the opposite, 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 the, like the reverse of this. You know, you know, yeah, no one I mean. So basically start at opacity zero and then one although they kind of like they all crazy stuff so fade in and this let's just make sure opacity is zero so yeah you know you know and then we don't need oh this will not fade but like uh scale in even fancier so it will go to from transform scale zero to transform scale one. Uh -huh. And yeah, opacity zero and transform scale zero like that. And then we remove it from here. Oh, but nah, I understand nothing. Yeah, okay. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, we need that. You'll someday understand me high. Don't worry. Translate X. Hmm. Hey, I didn't need that. Just the Y. And then opacity zero. So basically, we're setting up a C. And then we'll click the button, we'll play a class, and everything should ninja into, you know? Like, with sound effect. I think, hopefully. Hope, I really hope. But, okay, yeah, let's have an idea of uh, animation wrapper. Super fancy, and let's do that, like, const button, element, document, query selector, we have the, I forgot about the name, and then uh, animation element wrapper element document query selector like that. Let me see the button, the button uh, click, just click, simple click, click, click. All right, and when we btn element dot click, or well. I think you can do this as well, right? And just pass in the function here. Okay, so on click animation wrapper, I want class list to add animation wrapper class. I'm very inspired with the naming, so as you can see. So now if I click this, animation should like hopefully. Party. Okay, let me do it the old way. Add event listener, click, and then this. Class list add animation wrapper and then here animation wrapper animation wrapper. Okay. Whoa, did you see that? Super cool. Uh, scaling. Why didn't that work? Transform zero scale one. I think I have opacity or something. Yeah. So like opacity one. No. No. no I think no. <laughs> ah. Uh, kind of opacity one. Let's see. 
Ah, ok. And we need to transform it back. Because we transform it. Ok. Uh, I'll explain everything sometime. <laughs> Translate y minus 50%. Then scale. And then do the stuff. Let me see. Plus goes in. Wow, did you see that? How fast? How cool? I guess I could start from 80 so you can kind of see. Plus goes in. Wow. And then fade out can get, like go out faster and be done by 90%. So then we can see the plus. Wow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, let me use it variables. How do you set variables on root, right? Root, something like that. And then here you say something like time uh, something and I use that. And then here I use var time like that. Yeah, look at that. So smart. Uh, so we can like change this variable and then have it work on lower yeah and I have to fade this out faster so 80 and then 90 100 percent click plus goes into phase out Meh. It's not the most hot, but yeah. Let me do this ID fire. So the fire animation, uh, it will be the same as the after one. Animation wrapper fire. Let's see. Click plus goes in. Fire. Look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, Although the fire needs to like scale much more, so that doesn't work. I mean, I can play with it from this, make it 96. Hmm. Make this 56. Let me put this to 100 mil, thousand milliseconds. Click plus goes. Okay. <laughs> uh, 120. See, I'm kind of playing around with the numbers now. 72. Plus goes it. Uh, translate. Why goes back? I want you to go back more. So, or the number is too big. We can go with numbers. Where is the analogy? Excel, five Excel. Richard plus goes in. See, it's still not centered there. So, fire, fire needs to go back up and uh, no margin button for you okay <laughs> yeah the animation doesn't look too good but maybe we can improve on it hopefully please so and top minus one just a bit push it up okay that kind of works And the nine should be white. What do you think? Text white. Click me plus go. Nah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Make it fiery like that color. What was it? Text orange. Text 
orange 900 maybe mm. I don't know this is a bit off nope definitely not Nine fifty. Hmm. Okay, chat. Need help. What else? What? What? What's off? <laughs> don't don't say everything. Let's make it like bigger. So, oh, not this one. This one. <laughs> Funny. Uh. Get more get more get more get. All right, click me. Last one. Fire. Son of God. For some reason, not my fault though. Hmm. The yellow fire. Make it bigger? 80? Matey? Yeah, what happens like if we have 10 here? Oh boy, that's gonna be tough. Plus one, 10. Look at that. <laughs> so we need to scale it and century. Bum 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 You know that I might just like drop this animation entirely if it doesn't work out well. Plus one goes in that. Look at that. So cool. Why is that though? Absolute Z Top left Translate Translate it should be in the center. What you wrong with you? It's not in the center. Oh, but I have mine. Minus X, minus Y. Is it the after? Let me see. We have slide in. Slide in. Why did the apply? Wait, wait, wait a second. Scale in, slide in. Okay, scale in. Translate. Okay, yeah. So here we need both. Start like this. And minus 50, minus 50%. Okay. Click me. Choop, choop. Good, good, good. Yeah, so basically we're kind of ignoring the classes here because like we ha add them, add the properties with uh, animation, but uh. And now I can put 4XL here and should look good. Hmm, not centered. Don't like that. Fire, go up. Okay, kind of better. Hi guys, what did I miss? We're working on a freak animation. This can go black. Be very... Yeah, damn. <laughs> Alright, I need ideas of how I can make this better, like... Change the transitions around, or... This is scaled up, by the way. It won't be that big. So click plus ten. Let's see it without the white background. Okay, senor. <laughs> okay. So funny. Ooh. I mean, not bad. 
like when the fire appears delayed by BG. Hello, bro. Hello. Uh, you be, give it a bit of a bounce. Bouncy, bouncy. Ow. <laughs> bounce to the fire. Ooh, the fire. Fire bounce. So the fire is, let me, I kind of messed up here. So the fire and after. Uh, I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm rambling around. Let me do the fire animation separately so we can make it about. Uh, so we do this. But here we make it bouncing. <laughs> so the same blah, 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 scale, blah, 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 blah. And we use scale in. So we copy, paste. And here we say bounce in. And okay, so, so I can make it bounce by making this 90%. Oh, uh, sorry, okay. And having this properties, but like at 90%, come on. Why I do this? Uh, we have it. 1.1 1 .1 and then bounce back to 1. So, Achoo! or I, I can even go this like 70%, 80% go up, 90%. Uh, do I need to specify the opacity every step? 90% go back down 0.95 and then bounce back up to 1. So, like. See? Bouncy. Oh, that's kind of nice. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Uh, yeah, I need to specify here because it's the transition. Okay. So bouncy. I still... Hmm. How it will look like if you have three digits. I mean, I doubt someone will get three digits. And but... Plus one. <laughs> look at that. Nice. I kind of like it. Plus one, ten. <laughs> that's like going from eight to ten with plus one. That's some kind of dark magic. <laughs> plus one. Okay. Uh, one thing I don't like it is the plus one, which is what like the plus. Okay. Translate. Okay. Kind of. Hey, it's kind of translated in the center. Let me go, 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 go further. Can you do that? Oh no. <laughs> so mine. I wanted to slide from. Okay. And now we need to figure out like what's the percentage. You just got 200%. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's too much. No, no, no. All right. Right zero. I want it to go be, to be a bit further. We have that uh, minus minus fifty. I guess we could keep it zero initially, and you go to minus one fifty, and then again slide in. I want you to be zero. -ish. Okay. So now the plus would be further. Nice. I like the bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> And yeah, we'll make it a bit slower. Hey, I like it. What about the flame animation like I use in Halloween Countdown Challenge? Uh, let me submit this so you can play around with it. Uh, can you send the link, please? Flame animation. Let's see, can I find it? What's your username, Rose Vita? No. Okay. <laughs> I need to find your username. What challenges? You said Halloween countdown challenge. Okay. Halloween. Uh, this one? Like that one? Hmm. 
Martin, what did you do? Oh, it kind of pulsates. Oh, wow. Imagine if we have the fire pulsate. Oh my god, you're 167k in COVID time, it's just 10k. No, I had 10k before. Oh, I mean, in 2020, yeah, in 2020 I had 10k. Yeah, you're right. That's weird. I Wasn't it 2019? I think it was 2019. Though. When did I do the 10 projects? 10 projects, 10 hours. 2020, yeah, you're right. 2020, during COVID, I had 10k. Huh, interesting. What the? Yeah, I mean, I could add some add out to the SVG somehow. Like, it could have another animation that has a shadow, but I need to figure out how to do that. But yeah, so far so good, I guess. Um, shadow, shadow, shadow. <laughs> do we have uh, tailwind? There's a blur property, right? Blur. How much? Blur. Okay. I could add another SVG. Okay. Come on. Why you have to be like? Oops. And this one will be a bit bigger, like 130, and it will have a blur. And it will be red. Let's see. Wow, look at that. So fiery. Uh Blur Excel. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Maybe not Excel, plus like MD. Just a second, sorry. Okay, let's see, click. I kind of, hmm, I kind of feel like the number should grow with, with the fire. So I guess I could put it inside. I learned since watching you. Thank you. Glad you did. Thank you for the feedback. Um, yeah, so I could put the, the text here. So now I don't need the ID after. 
because we don't apply it should come with a fire let's see all right okay cool and let's see so what was the after and we just center it there oops after was the uh, scale in so no scale in no scale in okay why does it fade out though so no scale zero keep you like this and top 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 top, top. Top, top, left, left, left. Okay, should be the center. If I'm not mistaken. Font plug, C1. Alright. Yeah, but now the flame is up, so I need to put the... Hmm. What did I do? Messing up. I'm just, yeah, using the flame to have the animation. Now, do I have some margin somewhere? Instead of... Oh, margin top. We don't need that anymore because we have the number inside. But then I guess, yeah, I need to have the margin top on this. Nah, too much. All right, look at that. And then, like, now the number bounces with, with that. Uh, I guess we can make it bigger. Okay. I kind of feel like the uh, sliding should be more dramatic, like faster. Hmm. Zero. Yeah, so let's go 60%. Team, how do you like it? Adrian, hi, if you're still around. Not sure about the fire RPG, maybe find a better one. Hmm. Uh, this stays a bit too much now. Fix it. Platform. Playing with numbers. I like what I see. See, it kind of stays a lot uh, there. So I need to bump this down. Oh, this, this is where it moves, right? Yeah, so this one 65% and then it fades out. Hmm. Let's keep it like that. No. I don't know how we can reproduce the burning move. Maybe like go straight into translate. 
Let me see how that looks. Nah, we need a bit of a stop, but like small stop. See, it's too much there. Uh -uh. You could use an animated SVG. No! I like the SVG part. Ha! <laughs> 120. See there? And then, hmm. I need to bump this up a bit, bounce in faster, fade out. So let me do this and do this faster. 60, 70, 80. Can even have a 90 where. Where it goes back to one zero two, so like and it can bounce like this. Hmm. And not too bad. Cause faster everything. Look at this. Are you ready? <laughs> you weren't ready. Hmm. That slide, I don't like the slide. What's happening there? Phase. No, I don't want to do this. Fade it out. Okay, 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 okay. See, and everything happens with a, an apply of um, a class, so that's cool. I just need to then in React have this number and this number generated and apply the class animation wrapper to the anime. Oh, just have the class. Hey, I, yeah, I mean, I could have this animation wrapper. So I don't even need a button. Okay. C C C C C C C. Buy button. All right. So, I mean, uh, I might not be the best, but it's definitely better than we have now, which is nothing. Go back to four XL here. Nice. And obviously, like, hello, hello, I'm bound. How are you, buddy, buddy? Uh, oh, this is the actual size of it. <laughs> That's too big. Scale two. Look at this. Oh wait, uh, it doesn't have to. Why? No. <laughs> wow. See, this is why I like SVGs. Look at how crisp, cr cr crisp it is. Crisp. You know, this is where we are, are at right now. Da, na, na, na. I like it. Do you like it? From an employee standpoint or from a, a user standpoint? That's different. You you don't have to like it. Just give me a second. It's 
okay so uh, if uh, everyone likes it as much as I do I don't like it too much but I mean no I like it enough for it to go live I maybe it's a bit too big <laughs> yeah it's a bit too big <laughs> uh, now I have to figure out how to scale it and still make it the good to, ah whatever uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do something. Submit. All right. And I'll take this. Oh, I won't be able to take this. Oh, I can take the code. <laughs> Just hold on a second. I'm sneaky. Can I get copy? Oh, no. And then with the magic of copy paste, boom. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky thing. All right. So now we're going to put it here and see how it looks on the actual website. You know what I mean? Uh. This is our animation wrapper. Uh, PG sure, PG purple. 950. And then why is not that? See, we have some sneaky things there. That's right. Okay. And we're going to put this uh, somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, this is a link. Oh, okay, that's interesting. All right, so we'll put it this here. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So, first, we don't want no shadow, no rounded. <laughs> uh, then what? This will say something like i don't know we should say your streak is now bang so this will go inside of div of it on its own right please go there okay and here we'll say your streak, your new streak. Look at that, how fancy. Class, text white, flex. Nice. Uh, justify center. See? It's like perfect. Like, I mean, how can you even complain about something like this? It's so beautiful. Uh, for the confetti, we use a library. Looks nice, yeah. <laughs> it looks homemade. We need to make it smaller. <laughs> smaller. I mean, yeah, this could... Uh... Would have some padding, obviously. But yeah, this is too big. I need to scale it up. <laughs> no padding for you, sir. You don't deserve padding. Hey, look at that. Already looks something. Uh, but you deserve a weight. Nice. And now everything has to go back. So first thing first is the big text, which should not be big text, should be smaller text. Uh, Excel. 
Okay. This uh, maybe two weeks out at most. Okay. And the plus uh, go back to small. Absolute top found ball textile. Okay. So no small. All right. All right. Good morning, Huffman. Your new street. Yeah. <laughs> you are a new street. <laughs> you are a new street. <laughs> Your new streak. Something like that, yeah. Alright, good. Now we need to fix the kind of pirate thingy, which should be way smaller. Money top, I have to find it. Okay, so instead of 80, maybe 40? Let me see, like, based on. Sort of. I still be the big, bigger. 46. Okay, and then this instead of 120, 60. Okay, and this instead of 135, 62. Yeah, look at that. It slowly, slowly starts to look better. Ferdin is back. Very nice to see you. Thank you. E Sloan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I am back. Yes, you're right. Very right. Um, still like way more padding. Four. Just say new streak. I can have a uh, item center here. Wow! Look, see, 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 see. Kind of like slowly looks better. I want to see what's wrong here. Oh, we have a bunch of padding up there. So no more padding up there, please. Margin Y, no, just top. Because we have space from there. All right. So, I'd want to be fancy about it, and would want to streak SVG elements zooming into our faces with a diffuse black background and zoom out into the div element in which the stats are displayed. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> you have to show me what you want, if you want to get it. You mean? You, you know what I mean? Okay, and margin top too much now. Okay, I mean, sort of good, I guess. You can stay to Excel. Maybe I will, yeah. You should. Um, it's not very visible, you know? Yeah, no. I guess I could have this be inside of a paragraph, and that paragraph have like a Three X text, three Excel class on it. Too big. <laughs> or font bold. Hey, this doesn't look too bad. I guess maybe put everything like below the image. this or above that 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 mm. Ah no But hey we have the animation, so 
all good, right? Right, 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 right. I guess maybe a bit of a pet button, but but border button. Where is it? Where are you? Fix. Feels crowded. Oh, I have such a great idea. Are you ready for greatness? Let me show you. This is going to blow your mind. Absolute. Top zero. Right zero. Such fancy. Dev. Come on. Dev. Dev. Class. Relate. Relative. Relatives, you stay there, and you go. This is the only coding stream you'll have with sound effects, even if you like it or not. Hmm. Maybe bottom and uh, yeah, bottom. Six. It's not as cool as I thought. GG white. Text purple nine fifty. Padding four. Bottom zero. <clears throat> Nah. Do, 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 do. Your head is in the way, my big fat head, huh? <laughs> okay. Look at this magic. <laughs> hey, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, my head is not in the way. Oh, uh, yeah, but it doesn't look good. Hmm. Usually I was placing stuff like this and they were looking good, but... Uh, nah. Go back, 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 back. Put it back there and we'll figure something else. Look how lazy I am. <clears throat> Maybe a box around it? Too bad I'm not the designer, right? Can be a fancy box like BG purple, like BG pink 500. With a heading. Yeah, <laughs> not like that. Could it be just showing it in the middle of the image and disappear after 30 seconds? Just the fire number, not the text new streak? But then how do you know what it is? I mean, I know, you know, everyone knows in this 
stream but maybe people will not know. But it could disappear, you're right. Like new streak, puk, 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 and then hmm. It could it could be on the bottom of the page or something. <laughs> Let's see. Text. Up zero. Left zero. And no pink. It could have its own box. So pink, back pink, and shadow and rounded and a darker pink and like not too much padding and like top four left four or left half translate back half I don't know. And that definitely doesn't have to be. Let me see. BG. Does it have to be with that much, right? Yeah, it can be tall. Oh. So that's done. Ah, yeah, still 60 bucks. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where to put it. But yeah, it could probably be like a card, swipe up, new streak, plus, and then bye bye. Now the plug. Maybe I should use pixels here. It goes the size of no, the own size, so. Let me keep this. Uh, remove everything. That was weird. No, they weren't aligned very well. Because of the margin left? No. Hey, what happened? Everything should be centered. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, left, half, half. This. Oh. This is not centered, this is just a random number. Uh, but then I can... Uh, 
have it text center. Yeah, okay. That fixed it. And then go back here to... Hey, but actually... Let's try. Minus half. Ooh, too much. Minus right... Four? Okay. And go. Oops. What kind of music? Yeah, I mean, uh, chat, if you have any other suggestions, let me know. This is how it looks like on a small screen. <clears throat> Too much right to. Okay, I, I, I kind of like it. Just we need to figure out where to put it in that box. So that will be a challenge for me. But other than that, yeah, kind of like it. It turned out as I was thinking it should look. So we might change it at some point, but like the the point of this is to let people know that, okay, your streak increased, come back tomorrow to like keep the streak going, you know? Yeah, so, uh, unknown, unknown title, why? Streak animation. Submit. And yeah, you can go here and check it out, get the code. Hey, why is that set? And yeah, give me a like. I like my own stuff. And... Hmm. It definitely can be improved. I'm not saying that, but uh, so far I, I think I'm okay with it. If you have any ideas, let me know on Discord. Or even like if you watch this later, you can leave a comment here on YouTube. But yeah, I think that's it for today. If anyone has any questions, let me know while I'm still live. I'm thinking where to place it. Hmm. Uh, I have no ideas now how to improve upon this, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday when we're going to build a quiz app. I think. We'll see. Have a good day. Bye-bye.